So here we have an example of a short segment of a gene. And so this gene codes a very short polypeptide or protein sequence. And so obviously this would be within a much larger segment of DNA, which extends further to the left and further to the right. And so within that, the cell needs to be able to get RNA polymerase to the correct start site. And so that's why we have the promoter region. So the promoter region is characterized by the TATA box, which brings the RNA polymerase close to the start of the transcription site. We also see that within here, if we move on to the right, we have the terminator sequence at the end. So somewhere in between that is the actual gene coding for protein. And if we looked a little bit further upstream here, we would probably see that there's an enhancer and perhaps a silencer. And those two regions up stream of the DNA are there to help control when and where this gene is on versus off. So we can see that we have in this particular gene, we have the TATA box, the promoter on the left, and we have the terminator on the right. So therefore, we know that this gene has to move from left to right because it always has to go from the promoter towards the terminator sequence. We also know that the template has to be read from 3' prime to 5'. Prime. So we can see that the bottom strand is 3' prime to 5' prime from left to right. And so therefore, we know that the template is the bottom strand. And that makes the coding strand the top strand. Okay. So the template strand is the one that's actually read. So the RNA polymerase would be brought in by the location of the promoter to this transcription start site. And therefore, it would start to make the mRNA sequence based on complementarity to the template strand. So we see we have a C here. And so the mRNA would um, be made from 5 prime to 3 prime. And so at the 5 prime, where that C is in the template, we would have a G. And the next one is in a T in the template, so we would have an A. And so forth as we go through this, looking at the complementarity and making the mRNA strand. Until we get to the terminator site, and then our mRNA ends at the 3 prime. So let me erase this now and uh, put in the full sequence here for everyone to see. So you can see that my mRNA sequence extended from 5' prime to 3', prime, who is made in this direction. And it is complementary sorry, to the template. So if I have a C in the template, I have a G here. If I had a T in the template, I now have an A. Where I had a G, I have a C, and so forth. We also notice that this is very similar to the coding strand. So in the coding strand, we have G, A, C, A, G, C, C from the start of the transcription site. And here we also have G, A, C, A, G, C, C, and so forth. The difference is that we have U's in the mRNA instead of T's in the DNA sequence. So a reminder that the mRNA is complementary to the template and similar to the coding strand. And so now that we have the mRNA, we can uh, use ribosomes, or the cell uses ribosomes, to translate this. So we have our mRNA here, and now the uh, ribosomes will st find the start site. So if you remember, our start site is ATG, or AUG. So here is our start codon right here. Our start codon codes for methionine. Right. Then we would have GAC, UGC, UAG. And these continue in sequences of three. So we can use our trusty genetic code decoder. And we see, after remembering that AUG is the start and methionine site, we then know that GAC codes for aspartic acid, UGC codes for cysteine, and then UAG is our stop codon. So our very small, admittedly, but our very small polypeptide now would be methionine linked to aspartic acid linked to cysteine. And that is the protein sequence that is coded for by our gene, which as with any gene is embedded within the entire genome. So we need the TATA box promoter site to bring the RNA polymerase to the correct transcription start site. 
and then the RNA polymerase transcribes the mRNA by reading the template from 3 to 5, and the mRNA is made from 5 to 3. And then once we have the full mRNA, um, which stops when the RNA polymerase gets to the terminator, obviously, once we have that full mRNA, the ribosome binds at the AUG start site, and then we'll link my amino acids together to make the protein until it hits the stop site, and then we have the protein, and that's transcription and translation in a nutshell.